The installation procedures are given for the escape slide stowage compartment located below the left door 3, the procedures for compartments located below the right door 3 and the left and right door 2 are almost the same. Make sure that the flaps are retracted. Warning. Make sure that the locking pin assembly is correctly installed in the operating head of the inflation reservoir. It prevents an accidental extension of the escape slide. Make sure that the operating striker lever of the door damper and emergency operating cylinder is in the disarmed position. The slide control handle must be in the disarmed position and the safety pin installed. Open the door and make sure that the manual inflation handle is in its correct position. Put the access platform in position at the escape slide stowage compartment. Do a check of the aircraft stowage compartment recess and the stowage compartment attach panel. Make sure that the location pinhole in the attach panel aligns with the location pin on the aircraft stowage compartment recess. The escape slides for the left and right doors 2 and 3 are not interchangeable. The location pin installed on the aircraft stowage compartment recess prevents incorrect installation. Make a visual inspection of the door lock mechanism on the stowage compartment blowout door. To finish escape slide installation preparation, remove the blanking plugs. Here you can see the safety tool for slide installation. This tool must be installed on the slide pack and on the stowage compartment recess. Now, tighten the inflation hose and assembly on the fuselage union. Make sure you do not twist the inflation hose when you tighten the end assembly on the fuselage union. This could damage the inflation hose. Install the emergency lighting electrical connector and fix the bonding strap. Put the escape slide storage compartment in position and remove the safety tool. Then tighten the panel attach studs. Finally, 
Put the belly fairing panel in position and close the panel attach latch mechanism.